Good morning, Thresholds members, and good morning, New Freedom Center, Kankakee. Uh, today, I wanted to talk a little bit about what's called positive self-talk. Um, a lot of times, we give ourselves messages in our minds, um, and it's negative self-talk. Um, we tell ourselves things like, I'm no good, um, I don't deserve this good thing that happened to me, or just a lot of negative phrases we repeat in our minds that bring us down. Um, so just a little bit of background, self-talk. Um, we're going to be doing a, a short um, exercise today on how to change self-talk, negative self-talk that is, and and what it is, um, the difference between negative self-talk and positive self-talk. Um, so your self-talk, whether you are aware of it or not, it either sabotages in the case of negative or supports if it's positive for you. Negative self-talk can result in unnecessary stress, anxiety, depression, self-doubt, and etc. Positive self-talk, however, encourages self-confidence, effective coping, achievement, and a general feeling of well-being. So ask yourself, is my self-talk building me up or tearing me down? Is my way of thinking helping me or is it hindering me? So think of um, think of our brain in terms of like a record player, the old fashioned uh, vinyl records that have grooves. Um, the more we tell ourselves messages, those grooves get deeper and deeper in our minds and our brains. And we start to really believe them. They take hold just like um, a record player being played over and over and over again. So we wanna challenge those. So I'm going to share my screen. Now, I apologize uh, if there's any technical difficulties. This is something new I'm trying, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to share my screen and show you what we're talking about. Here we go. Let's see here. All right. I can do it. And it doesn't look like it's going to let me share my screen. Okay. It was working before. But let's see. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and read uh, what we're talking about. So think of a time, a recent time when you were experiencing negative or unhelpful thoughts. I'm sure we can do this if we put our minds to it. So there's three things we want to ask ourselves. What was the situation? How did you feel? And what did you do? So then after you come up with this situation, uh, you're going to use this step-by-step -step guide and see if changing the way you think could possibly bring a better result. It's all about challenging those negative thoughts. So given what you have reviewed here, what is one thing you are willing to start doing that can help you better manage your negative thinking? Now, here we go. Here's where we get to the changing your self-talk. The first thing we want to do is catch it. In other words, recognize when you are having negative or unhelpful thoughts. Second thing we want to do is try to control it. We want to stop. When you find yourself thinking negatively, say the word stop to yourself. So you can say it silently to stop the downward spiral of thoughts leading to sadness, guilt, anxiety, of doubt, and hurt, and all those bad feelings. So, and the more we practice it, the better we're going to get at it. So just remember that phrase, stop. Say it in your mind um, silently. Um, then you want to challenge it. Challenge those thoughts. Challenge what you are saying to yourself using various questions below, which we're going to talk about. And then are you going to change it? Change the negative messages you are saying to yourself more realistic or positive ones in order to bring about more pleasant and helpful emotions. And finally, we want to cherish it. Enjoy the moment and the feeling you have just created because if we do this correctly enough times, we're going to change from those negative feelings, unhelpful feelings, to feeling really good. And we want to embrace that and really cherish those times. So the third part 
is when we get to the challenging your thoughts. And this is how you do it. You ask yourself these questions. Is this thought helpful? What is a more healthy thought? What would I tell a friend in this situation? Perhaps follow this advice. What evidence do I have that what I'm thinking is really true? What is the evidence against it? Another question is, is there any other reason this situation could have occurred? So that's kind of like doing a fact check or a reality check, they used to call it. Is there another way of looking at this situation? What are some other points of view? Another question, what is the worst or best or most likely outcome? If the worst did happen, how could I cope? Would I live through it? Finally, another question, is there anything I can do about this right now? If there is, take appropriate action. If not, no, judging those thoughts, um, affirmations list, some of us have been familiar with that, affirmations, positive affirmations, like instead of saying, I'm, I'm a terrible person, I'm not worthy of, let's say, I'm not worthy of a healthy relationship. That's a negative thought. Positive affirmation or reframing that would be, I am a good person who is worthy of a healthy relationship. So you just change the wording around a little bit and repeat that over and over again, and it'll start to stick in our minds. And overall, we'll be a better, healthier person. We'll be more resilient. We're working ourselves into better recovery. So well, that's all I got for you today, members. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful for you. And I will talk to you again. Enjoy the day.